The microwave shop was the brainchild of Robert Eng. Having developed a business package for marketing national microwaves distributed by Fisher & Paykel, Robert and Liz Eng opened their first microwave shop in 1982. The opening was a huge success, and Robert underestimated the excitement the business would generate. They had achieved their monthly target of selling 20 microwaves in just three days. However, expansion of the business was curtailed by existing franchise regulations, which meant that Robert could not sell national microwaves at other stores in Auckland. So, in 1986, Robert Eng approached Mark Jones of Arthur Nathans about the possibility of joining the business. I first of all came on board uh, with the microwave shops, and I had a partner there, Robert Eng, and he had one microwave shop in Mount Hagen Road, and uh, he wanted to expand his business. And at that stage there, we were in a company called Arthur Nathans, and uh, we'd had a lot of success. We'd taken it from a company that was struggling into one where it got uh, Retail of the Year and had uh, grew its turnover five times in the space of about two years. So we, we, uh, we went and had a discussion and uh, uh, the owner of um, Arthur Nathans and myself took a 50% shareholding in the microwave shop and very rapidly increased that up to five stores and at the end of that period we were doing 40% of all microwave sales in Auckland, so it was very successful. And part of that success was that we were doing up to 350 people per week learning how to use microwaves, learning how to cook. Everybody heard about the excitement, but people didn't know how to use them. And the fact that we went out and promoted how to use these products actually really got word of mouth going to say, look, if you have a microwave, these are the real benefits of it. And so it exploded for us because we were one of the only companies that actually told people how to use the product. And no matter what cycle you are in the world today, food is always very important. And people love cooking in the home. And so this was a new innovative thing that in those days you simply hadn't seen anything like this hit the marketplace for years and years and years. So it was the greatest thing most probably in 20 years that hit the marketplace was these microwaves. And uh, the lesson I learned out of that is it's not about just selling the product, it's actually having the expertise so that people get the benefits of it. Creating a point of difference through service was a key reason for the company's early success. This service extended to gift wrapping the microwaves and even offering deliveries on Christmas Day. On Christmas Day we'd get up at five o'clock in the morning and go and deliver microwaves to customers. Um, you know, no other company would go and deliver these microwaves. We even had examples where we would go and knock on the door and the husband would come out and say, great, bring it into my wife, she's lying in bed, and here we are delivering this microwave to, to the customer. So it was great customer service and um, really just showed that commitment from our end. Although the microwave shop was committed to offering exceptional service, their boom times were about to be influenced by a factor outside the company's control. Like all things, they never last and um, our government came along and uh, they changed the sales tax and all of a sudden we were doing the same volumes with a lot less turnover. And it was just pure luck, but uh, a family friend of ours, Kerry Harvey, he had uh, just achieved a, a wonderful thing. We had gone over to Doma Technica, which is a huge show in Germany, and he managed to get hold of the Bosch Agency and the Smeg Agency. And uh, when he came back to New Zealand, he was very excited about that, but he then realised the, the complications of funding that and fully exploring this huge opportunity he had. And uh, we ended up where initially he wanted us to take a shareholding in his business, but over a period of time we ended up buying that business out. 